Hi everyone, Paul. So you're probably wondering why I'm making videos about what I'm eating or dieting or anything like that. Well, the bottom line is I think I figured something out finally after 54 years. You know, I've always struggled with my weight. I've always been about 10, 20, 30, 40 pounds overweight. Used to weigh 175 in high school. And then as I got married, I kept creeping up. And then I got all the way up to 245 and then came back down by doing a low carb diet, which was very effective actually. I got down to about 220 range. And then I got down around 215. Never could get below that. But I finally figured it out and I figured out what I was doing wrong. And basically, I am probably like most of you, you think you're eating really healthy and you're not. You know, we don't have a lot of junk in our house. We don't have a lot of potato chips or anything like that. But as I really stopped and looked about what it was I was eating, you know, it just was not that good. And then on top of that, I was eating too much of it. So I started making videos about what I was eating and that's what this video is about. I woke up this morning, I made my typical smoothie that I make every morning and I did a quick video and you're gonna see that right now. And I guess I'm just trying to say to those of you who are out there who have always struggled with your weight, like I have, you know, I might have found the holy grail and that is you pursue quality in the food that you eat. So I eat tons of fruits and vegetables every day. I eat chicken and I eat fish. I stay away from everything packaged. I don't eat any sugar. I don't eat anything white, white flour, white, uh, you know, pastries or anything like that. I got rid of all the Splenda. I used to just do tons of Splenda all the time. I don't do any of that stuff. It's all just basically in my mind, a chemical. And the interesting thing about it is I'm healthier than I've ever been, not just the way I feel, but I don't get sick as easy. I don't know what that's about, but maybe I eat so much broccoli, maybe it's keeping it away. I'm not sure. But I thought I'd just share that with you. You know, I control my portion size by using an app called uh, MyFitnessPal. I log in everything I eat. It's super easy to do. I try to stay around 2,200 calories. Uh, one of the other tricks that I've just recently done is change it to 1,800 calories. And I found myself always eating over at 2,200, eat, eating, you know, like 2,400, 2,600. So I played a little mental game with myself. I put it at 1,800 and I still eat over two, three, 400 calories. But now I'm right on track with where I need to be. And I continue to go down where I weighed at 197 and my goal is about 190 to be honest with you and so just a couple things I drink lots of tea every day I don't put any Splenda in it I still drink coffee but I, I just stay away from all the sweeteners and all that stuff and I tell you I've never felt better in my entire life I mean it's crazy at the end of this video uh, one of my friends one of the listeners to the show Brian he had a picture of me before and a picture of me after he said boy Paul you changed a lot and he sent me this side by side I go wow I had no idea it was that dramatic but you know, I feel great, I'm exercising hard, but you know, it's all about quality. That one thing I learned in Japan was, you know, what is the Japanese culture all about? It's about quality, right? And so then if you really apply those same kind of lean principles to food, if you just eat quality, you're not gonna have all the problems that you had. And you know, frankly, it's really easy for me to, to maintain my weight the way I'm doing it because I'm eating such great food and I've learned from my trainer, vegetables are basically free, so I eat all the vegetables I want, but I try to maintain that portion size. I eat you know, five, six, seven times a day. I have my smoothie three times a day, it all works well. So here's the video I shot this morning, just to kind of know where I'm coming from a little bit. I'm not like off on some wild diet fad, but I have began to appreciate the fact that quality works, and it works in a lot of different arenas. So enjoy the video, thanks a lot. Well, I waited at 197 this morning. I'm just doing fantastic, making my great smoothie here, getting sick a lot less, which is a new benefit from losing weight, which is kind of cool, I think, because I eat so many vegetables. This is spinach. Normally, I have broccoli and spinach in here with raspberries, an apple, a banana, and then protein mix after I all mix it up. But at the end of the day, I love eating healthy. And this thing lasts me all day. I make this one and I drink it three times. Two scoops of protein mix, spinach, apple, a banana, and some raspberries. And I'm gonna have myself one healthy drink to take me through the day. In addition to eating lots of fruits and vegetables and some chicken and fish today. I know, you guys are all asking, why is that one there? Why do I have that one? <laughs> why do I have that one? Well, because I started with this one, and I love it. But then I got the uh, Nutribullet, which is awesome. But it'd make a pretty big smoothie, and it worked well. But 
I ended up having to make three smoothies a day for how much I was drinking. Now I just make one in the morning and I drink one third, one third, one third. I keep it in the refrigerator here at home or at work. It works great. So I'm actually finding that this is easier doing a batch work. <laughs> I know that's not good coming from a lean guy. And the one in the back, that's my travel blender. A little tiny one I got at Walmart. I take it with me and I can make my shakes when I'm on the road. Pure goodness. Fruits and vegetables all day long. I love it, man. Mm. Can't get enough of this. And my good friend Brian sent me this before and after picture he had of me. Boy, you can see the difference.